The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in the United States has opened an investigation, an official one, into Hyundai and Kia electric cars in America. The reason is this. Its report says that overcurrent can occur because of a failure in the ICCU. This damages the transistors and prevents the 12 volt battery from recharging. The NHTSA has received numerous complaints. There's been numerous complaints, in fact, worldwide for these failures. This has been an ongoing saga. I reported on this, I believe more than a year ago now. For some reason, it's taken more than a year for this problem to be addressed. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, it may seem like I'm being anti-Hyundai or Kia or Hyundai. I don't think I am because I have made at least 20 positive videos about both of those companies within the past 12 months. In fact, probably closer to 30 now that I've done the Kia EV9. Said lots of positive stuff about that. The new Ionic 5. The new Ionic 5 is, well, assuming it doesn't need this recall, it's a really good car. But it is weird, right, that Hyundai and Kia have had to recall, well, approximately 770,000 electric cars globally for a part of their EVs, which consumers have been saying has been a problem for quite a long time now. It's been a significant issue. A fault in Hyundai EVs battery systems causes the Ionic 5 and others to lose power completely. Unfortunately, it's not something that can be fixed. This product, this part needs to be replaced. It's been a bit of an ongoing issue. And I have had some angry owners send me emails. Like, guys, I've seen your emails. I'm sorry I haven't responded to them. But I've seen your emails. I understand your frustrations. And people have emailed me saying that this has been an ongoing drama they've been having to deal with and it's not being addressed properly. Now, I can't really speak to the details, but that's all I can say at this point in time. I don't really want to expose people's names or anything like that. The Hyundai Motor Group is launching a massive recall of several electric vehicles across its three brands. Now, it does coincide with the fact that Hyundai's EV sales last month, in the month of February, were lower worldwide than they were 12 months ago, which is crazy. I don't understand it. Uh, Hyundai's sales last year and Kia's, they've got great product, but they're just not making many EVs. That's the truth. They're not. Uh, there's a lot of positive reviews, great product. A lot of people are massive brand ambassadors for them. They're just slagging off anyone else who doesn't like them, saying, if you want to buy a Tesla and you don't buy a Hyundai, then you're crazy. And I understand that. A lot of people love their cars. They're really good. But the production numbers, come on. I mean, come on. Hyundai Kia, production numbers of EVs worldwide last year. Actually, their, their, their market share went down. They went down a fair bit. The Hyundai Motor Group is launching a massive recall. So far, they only started in South Korea, but it's only a matter of time before they do this worldwide. All the media are saying it's about to happen. This is for the Integrated Charge and Control Unit, which is called the ICCU. Now, you can find information about the ICCU in Hyundai vehicles. Uh, across forums, it's been an ongoing problem. The recall affects electric vehicles based on the eGMP platform, including the Ionic 5 and the Ionic 6, which Surprising, considering the Ionic 6 is a really quite a new car. Also affects the Genesis GV60, GV70, and G80s, as well as the Kia EV6. In all, the company has to repair 170,000 EVs in South Korea alone, but it's going to rise to probably around 800,000 worldwide. And the reason is because vehicles can lose power while they're driving completely. This makes it the biggest single recall of vehicles based on the electric-only eGMP platform since it was launched in 2021. However, this is going to cost the company quite a lot of money, and there has been a lot of complaints. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration opened an investigation into these vehicles' ICCUs in June of 2023, so nearly a year ago, and there was complaints long before that. Its preliminary report says that overcurrent can occur in the part damaging the transistors and prevent the 12 volt battery from recharging. Now, if this had been a Tesla vehicle, we would have all known about this a long, long, long time ago. It would have been reported on by everyone on YouTube and everyone on, all, you know, mainstream media would have been all over this saying Tesla vehicles are losing power. It's incredibly dangerous. People are dying. That's what they would have said. 
You know it. You know it's true. They would have. 100% this would have happened. But for some reason, because it was Hyundai and Kia, they just completely ignored it. And this was a disservice. It was a disservice because it was stupid. If the media had jumped on this, this problem probably would have been solved a year ago and they wouldn't have had to recall nearly a million electric cars. Anyway, I think we should paint everyone with the same brush. Like if we're going to be critical or, or praiseworthy of one brand, we should do the same to all brands. The NHTSA says it has received many complaints of this problem occurring in the US. Owners report hearing a loud popping noise. This is all over forums. I've read this many, many times, followed by a warning message on their dashboard. While some owners have experienced a reduction in power, some have lost power completely. Hyundai and Kia have been aware of this problem for, yeah, a long, long time, I believe more than 18 months, and have been offering owners a free repair since last year. However, it has now decided to launch a recall as reports of power losses have obviously increased. So it's just a matter of time before your car will need this part replaced, it appears. The reason I mention actually of why it's just a matter of time is because it's the way they designed it is, it's kind of faulty. It's, it seems inevitable that it's gonna happen. If you wanna know more about it, I won't bore you here. I'll put a link in the description to my video that explains more about it. In order to remedy the issue, the Hyundai Group plans to install a software update in all affected vehicles where necessary, it will replace the, the ICCU completely. Now, Hyundai have obviously had other big recalls. In 2021, it cut the first generation Kona EVs live short in South Korea because there was a recall of about 100,000 EVs then. Um, the issue that caused this was the elevated fire risk in these batteries, the LG Chem, LG Energy Solutions have had a lot of battery problems. And this is true. Other companies have not. They haven't. Now, interestingly, the Hyundai and Kia Motor Groups have, for the first time ever, decided to start using CATL's lithium iron phosphate batteries. And they've begun to manufacture these EVs in China as well. And I believe there's a reason for that. These lithium iron phosphate batteries are lasting a very, very long time. They're hassle free, maintenance free. Very, very unlikely to have a fire, extremely unlikely, much less likely than an internal combustion engine vehicle. And, well, there's been almost no recalls, no issues. I mean, it's a very big deal, right? If you have to cover this kind of cost for warranty costs, imagine what it's going to cost them to cover the, the cost of having to replace all these control units in all these vehicles. And it's also reputational damage. That said, guys, I still do think the new Ionic 5 is a very, very good car. And this would probably wouldn't make a big difference to me in terms of choosing one. But it is a bit disappointing that they didn't deal with this 18 months ago when they first knew about it. Thank you for watching.